This small device right here is the Cronus Zen. And it has been one of the most controversial topics in the Fortnite community. I'm not using it, it's right here. I'm not using it, bro. Peterbot has this, he uses it. And it's almost like you can't keep up unless you have something like this right here. But what is this device and why is it such a problem? Well, I tried to find answers and it led me to its creator. Okay, it's time to call them. Contrary to popular belief, Cronus has been around for way longer than Fortnite. In fact, they've been around for over 10 years, and it has been a hot topic in many other gaming communities. But before we get into all of that, let's start with a bit of history. The Cronus Max V1 was the first ever model that got released in October of 2013. It was one of the first in gaming to solve a rather annoying problem. The problem of not being able to use your favorite controller on a different console. Well, Cronus Max made this possible, and this was also the the main focus of their marketing. They released videos of being the world's first in many aspects, like using a keyboard and mouse on Xbox One, and a few months after, Cronus Max V1 was discontinued to make place for V2. This version came with the introduction of scripts and mods, and not much later, the Cronus Max Plus was released. The device was now getting insanely useful with the addition of these new features, and with it came slight controversy. This first showed when they made a video about the double shot mod in Halo 2, and the Halo community probably was wasn't happy about this based on the fact that the comments were turned off. But this was only the beginning, as more videos followed. Anti-recoil, rapid fire, drop shots, jitter, any mod you want, for any game you play. However, the hate and controversy was still minimal at this point. At Collective Minds, the company behind Cronus was about to strike the deal of a lifetime. Around this time, the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One were fierce competitors. And Activision, the publisher of Call of Duty, supported the PlayStation more due to better sales, easier developing for games, and an exclusivity deal. This meant that pro players in the Call of Duty League had to play on PlayStations, with its included Bluetooth controls. Controllers. However, there was a problem, because when you put 8 to 12 pros in close proximity at a LAN event together, Bluetooth interference is a given, resulting in controller lag. And this wasn't even limited to controllers, as fans standing nearby with smartphones caused problems as well. The solution to all of this turmoil? Wired controllers. But the USB function didn't work properly due to a design flaw by Sony, which meant that it ultimately came down to using Cronus. Activision partnered up with the company and distributed them for every tournament, all the way up until 2021. But in 2018, the marketing strategy of Cronus changed with the introduction of a new product, the Cronus Zen. Fortnite was getting extremely popular in 2018, and Cronus was one of the many companies that jumped on the trend. In fact, they made a special game pack for it, including a double pump mod, anti-recoil, aim abuse, rapid fire, and much more. Yes, your whole life has been a lie up until this point, because Cronus has existed in Fortnite since the beginning. It just wasn't as popular as the Zen. Well, that changed when the Zen got released in June of 2020, because the tutorial posted after its release got almost 600,000 views. Their YouTube channel was now only posting videos about their modded game packs, and they had seemed to forgotten about its original purpose, controller compatibility. But do you blame them? Because they were about to make a bank. It was now 2020, something came into the world, I don't know, a virus or something, you might have heard of it, and everyone and their mother had to stay home at this point. This also meant that gaming tournaments were mostly hosted online from now on, and with it came the ability to hide mods and other cheats. Now, this wasn't just in tournaments, as we all know the hacker and cheating problem Call of Duty Warzone faced, and Activision now claimed that they were fighting against the device they once partnered with, stating that they were looking to work with Sony and Microsoft on these issues. But what about Fortnite? Well, complaints from the community increased, rumors of it being bannable spread like wildfire, and every top controller player faced accusations. But not a single confirmed ban or word from Epic Games was made on the subject, causing more and more people to use it. To show you an example, Exalted made a video in which he accused Reed of using a Zen, but then put an Amazon affiliate link to the Cronus Zen in the description, on which he would get a part of the revenue made from sales through that link. Two months after he uploaded that video on YouTube, he showed the results, and more than 80,000 people ordered a Zen from that link in those two months. And so last week, I asked him for an update. He has now sold more than 200,000 Zens through that link, which meant that more than 25% of the 700 
100,000 people that watch that video, but a Zen. Remember, this is just one video, and the total amount of Zens in Fortnite could be well over a million. Also, it doesn't really help that you can literally buy it anywhere. But the question is, does the Zen really make you better? And is it really that much of a problem? Well, let's first debunk some myths about the Zen. Number one, it doesn't give you aimbot. And number two, it will not make you a pro if you already suck. Now don't get me wrong, the Zen will give you an unfair advantage. But it's not blatant aimbot and wall hacking as people make it out to be. Your aim assist will be stickier with soft aim, you will get macros for instant reset binds, anti-recoil and rapid fire can be enabled, and there are plenty of other mods. The device is incredibly beneficial for players already competing at the top level, as it's undetectable and gives them the edge over similar competitors. But when we look at the average Zen buyer, then we see the opposite. Most people buy Cronus for scripts thinking it's like aimbot and going to turn them into a pro. I myself was one of these people. If that's you, then save your money, cause you won't be happy. And I think that most players will share this sentiment as they see the accusations made around the product and think it will make them into the new mongrel. However, we talked about the opinion of the community and the silence of Epic Games, but what about Cronus themselves? What do they think? Well, the statement they use most of the time on YouTube is that it's completely legitimate with without any hacking, well-known stores have sold their products for years, they point out their partnership in the past with Activision, and state once again that it's not hacking. And they have a point here, it is in fact not hacking. And the discussion becomes difficult when it comes to the cheating argument. Yes, it has been a problem within competitive gaming and they definitely get used to cheat. But there are also many disabled and elderly people benefiting from their creation. They received many testimonials in the Gamers with Disabilities area on their forum, and a quick search on the internet shows that it makes the experience for people with arthritis a lot better. But this wasn't enough for me. I wanted to give them a chance to defend themselves even further. So I decided to email them. This is how it went. I sent them a request for an interview with included questions. They started working on my request, didn't reply back to me for a few days, then replied that they haven't heard anything back from me in a few days, asking if I still needed assistance, which I replied yes to, then got a mail back that they heard nothing back and closed the ticket, which I replied to that I would would still like a reply back. And that was the end of the helpful conversation. I emailed Collective Minds, the owner of Cronus, messaged a Discord mod, and even called them. But nothing. So that is all the confrontation I can give you. But I hope that you still learned something today. Epic Games has a difficult situation ahead of them. And with Activision failing to take any action so far, I can't see them doing anything in the near future either. The usage of Cronus Zen will keep increasing, and the pockets of their owners at Exalted will continue to get fatter. Link to buy a Zen in the description. Just kidding, of course. Now this was the video. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Check out my team Saints in the description. And I might see you guys in this other video right here.